<laughs> okay, this is one of our um, most favourite times of the weekend. It's where we uh, invite Ruby Cornish to join us on the show again for her limerick of the week. Ruby, um, Hi, this one this week, did it take a lot of time? Did you draw inspiration from anything in particular? Well, as always, I drew inspiration from something that was in the news this week. I don't want to give away what it was because it will reveal itself as the poem goes, but I will say anyone who did see this story this week would have had to put down whatever they were eating while they were reading it. Okay. It's a bit sick making. Oh, well, kick it off. The first gripe was abdominal pain. It came back again and again. She developed a cough, her sleeping was off, a fever she couldn't explain. Her doctors did all sorts of tests, but the state of her health just regressed. Cognition degraded, memory faded, she was irritable and depressed. Then a brain scan revealed something new. A strange lesion had come into view. The right frontal lobe would need a good probe to see if the smudge held a clue. So the forceps went in for a scout, but the surgeon soon yanked them back out. Impaled on a prong, a strand three inches long was twisting and writhing about. Feeling queasy, the doc watched it squirm. Oh my God, look at that, it's a worm. Every ache, every niggle had been caused by this squiggle, the experts went on to confirm. The source of this bug, they attested, was a plant that was picked and ingested. The eggs were attached, they were swallowed, then hatched. There might be more organs infested. The good news, we all have the means to steer clear of these nightmarish scenes. To avoid an ordeal from your nice homemade meal, once you harvest them, folks, wash your greens. Oh. We like a little <laughs> bit of advice at the end. Food there, hygiene, Ruby. it's very creepy. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Mm. I mean, wasn't that a story that didn't just capture Australia, but the world? Yeah. You know, it went everywhere because it was so extraordinary. Yeah, well, the first time, I mean, usually these eggs are found in pythons and python poo. So it was the first time we'd ever had one of these infest a human and human brain. Oh my gosh, like, can you imagine wait, being that poor woman and waking oh. up and hearing that that's what had been in your head all that time? But she must be so relieved to be free of it. It's mm. unimaginable, unthinkable, but you have done magic with a story that none of us will ever be able to unremember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>